Hello Shogo, here are my first items for you. This is a Cabela's. This is uh, from 2011, 50th anniversary hat. Good shape, it is uh, 11 years old, kind of a collector's item. This is a one liter, brand new Boda bag. It says made in Spain. Very nice condition, never used. A nice uh, trout fish mug, GH Bass and Company. It's not marked, probably made overseas. But in nice shape, no chips. And a uh, vintage hand warmer, made in Hong Kong. Has a direction card with it. Yeah, it's probably 1970s. It's old. Here is a collection of these small skaters lanterns. They are all unmarked. They are all a little bit different. The glass is good on all of them. And they are complete. But none of them have any markings. I assume they are old. I know you like the Coleman number zero aluminum filter funnels. So here is uh, seven of them. I have a couple boxes. Some of these are really nice. That one's very clean. The filter's good on all of these. This one's really nice. I think this one goes in this box and it's uh, unused. This one's a little uh, used, but it's in good shape. So there are uh, seven funnels. Here are two military lanterns. These are later ones made by State Machine Products, SMP. Have one with a box. Dated 1984. Has the funnel. The decal is bad, but I have a new original decal. And in here is a uh, generator, new generator. Two original packages of mantles. Has the wrench. And uh, otherwise it's in pretty good condition. Quad glass. Uh, vent has some flaking of paint. These late vents were painted. This is a little earlier one. Again, SMP. 1981, it has the funnel, has uh, a wrench, two packs of mantles, one generator, and I have again another uh, original decal to replace this one if you would like. But two with one box. You asked about model 327s, so I have two. This one is later. Uh, I don't see the date on the bottom without looking closely, but it's uh, 1935 or later, so later 1930s. It is complete. Green porcelain vent, R55 generator, overall good condition. It does have a mica globe that is um, has some damage and is pretty dirty, but that will clean up a little bit. This one's earlier. This one's 1925. And it is dated, you can see it here, 511, which is November 1925. Has a Q99 generator. A little bit of rust on the bottom, but I don't think that's bad. I don't think there's any leaks. And it also has a uh, mica chimney that shows um, some damage, but it will clean up a little better. That um, I can press out of there. Anyway, those are the two choices I have for you. So a number of 502 stoves and heat drums. The stoves are in kind of average condition. This first one is, it's hard to read, but it is 1268. Twelve 
68. This next one, it's a little better condition. Good decal. This one's 10. 65 and this last one has quite a bit of paint loss and I did find it on here seven sixty-seven, and then three heat drums they all have a little bit of rust this one has been repainted and uh, This one may have a uh, homemade bale. Anyway, they all work. This is a pretty nice 502. Uh, it does have a worn box. There's no manual. But the stove itself is very clean. And it is dated 1281. Very nice stove, hardly used. Three more small backpacking stoves. This is the Peak One 550B. The date on it is 1095. And these were actually issued to the um, US Marine Corps. That number is their um, military part number. It's had some use, doesn't look too bad. 533 stove, this is newer. 11 of 99, nice and clean, good condition. This one is a 400A. Uh, it's kind of dusty and dirty, it's been used. It'll clean up pretty well. I'd say it's in fair condition. And the date on here is uh, 687. A few more miscellaneous items. This is an MSR Whisper Light stove. Um, I don't have any of the other accessories, really just for parts, but it appears to be in good condition. And here is a nice uh, Umco 103A. So it has um, three tiers, three trays. And it, um, it's clean and works very nicely. Good condition. Very nice cast iron for you. Um, these small number threes. This is a Griswold. Very clean, ready to use. They've all been cleaned and seasoned. Um, that Griswold is probably 1940s to early 1950s. These Wagners are all um, 1940 to 1959, somewhere in there. Again, all very clean. This one's a number uh, six, not a normal size that you see. Again, very nice. And then this pan, this is a Wagner. It's 100 years old. These were only made 1920 to 1924, and it is a clean, High sided, has the uh, fire ring. That's a number seven, which is unusual. That's a very clean, very nice pan. And then this is about the same age, 1920s. It was a toy. So Wagner made these as toys. This was originally nickel plated. I didn't clean it up because I'm afraid to lose the nickel plating. Um, but these are unusual and hard to find, but it was a toy so the uh, little girls could uh, cook next to their mom on the stove. But same uh, logo and the uh, fire ring, um, which puts that uh, 1920 to 1925, somewhere in there. So this is a, uh, not a Coleman lantern, but an Akron 132AG, made uh, 1930s. So it does have, um, the generator is good. The tip cleaner lever works, I tested that. So it only goes like 90 degrees. Um, no rust on the bottom, it is dirty inside, so it needs to be cleaned out. Um, but they were painted like this. The vent isn't too bad. It is a double mantle lantern. 
And uh, Akron was in, uh, well, that's pretty dirty from soot. But other than that, uh, there's not a lot of rust. So it'll need your typical cleaning. And if you want to buy something truly amazing, I do have this Coleman BQ bracket lamp available. It is dated 710, which is October 1927. Has an original number 334 enamel shade. There's a little damage there. And a spot on the inside. But these original shades are very hard to find. And it has been restored as the original Q99 generator, E on the valve wheel, which is correct. Has the original feet and hanging hook. And let's see if we can get it started.